Okay, so I am back with another police reaction video, and let's just say that the video we're about to check out is no surprise to me that a daughter who has a father that passed away, and she's out tricking, partying, and catching pipe everywhere, is obvious to me that they don't have a care and soul in the world, that they don't have any type of respect and morals for themselves. And that's why they ended up getting the short end of the stick. Let's get to the video. But I can't get involved. Why would I lie about that? Just, just give her some space. Have a good night. I'm fine. Why would I lie about that? <laughs> Why would I lie about that? <laughs> On June 23rd, 2024, a police officer responded to a report that a woman had slapped a guy during a date, causing a disturbance. The officer approached the scene to gather detailed information about the incident, but it soon turned into a heated confrontation. So she decided to slap a man because. Through the bar, and I saw her, and she like came up to me, and she was like, "Wait, I know you," and I was like, "What?" And then she like kept walking, I kept walking, and then I came around to go back to the bathroom. And then she was like, she was like, wait, don't, don't leave. So then I told him to keep walking. He kept walking. And then she was like, do you have the audacity? I was like, what? And she was like, the audacity. And then just smacked the shit out of me as I was standing there. Then I like, I didn't do anything. So she walked away. Then came back and just started punching me, like in the face for no reason. I was just sitting there like that. So I like, I know I can't hit her or anything, but I'm just sitting there with my hand up. You say all this happened inside. Upon arrival at the incident, the officer encountered a male who claimed to be the victim and was still present at the scene. The man provided a detailed account of the events leading up to the disturbance, describing the interaction between him and the woman. He then mentioned that during their date, the woman began verbally abusing him, and then ended up slapping him across the face. I know. Yeah, you know, right, 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 right between the two bathrooms right there. Like, in the hallway of the bathroom. The the bathroom. It's like, I pointed at the camera after, and I was like, look, you're on camera, like... So, if you guys want to go back, you can watch the tape. Alright, uh, Doc, we're going to do that now. Did they take your information back? No, they haven't. You say you want to press charges? About time we have somebody with common sense to press charges against a woman who is that insane. Because normally when I see like police videos of toxic couples getting into physical altercations, it's always that one man that refuses to put her in jail or like press charges against her because she's a woman all she needed was somebody to hold her accountable no press charges get a restraining order against her and go on about your life you don't need to be with somebody who is that insane that right crazy Oh, Brandon, okay. Let me in. Isn't an 18 up? Oh, they let me in. They even check my ID. They just gave me a wristband in front. You can check my wallet. Oh wow. Yeah. I went here originally and I walked in at first. Uh, he didn't check my ID or anything. He just gave me a wristband. So it was at uh, full capacity. So we just went in. And then my friends were in there who were my age as well. So we thought it was 18 up. The officer assured the man they would take the necessary crazy, steps bro. to address the situation and pursue serious action against the woman if warranted. After gathering all the details from the victim, the officer approached the woman. The officer began by asking the woman for her identification, which she provided without hesitation. They were my left knee and bothered me all day. So, um, then we went to the back hallway, and that's what it happened. Yes. Uh, we matched on Tinder last year, and then we were talking on Tinder for a little bit. We haven't talked. 
that right there is a big of a red flag to me. You met each other on the internet app. Where where I come from, you know, I'd rather meet that person in person, like the old fashioned way, instead of meeting somebody online. Because two things could go wrong in this situation. One, if that person is not who they say they are, that means you're catfish. And two, even if you meet that person that looks exactly like how they look in the profile, and if you ended up dating each other for a year, if she's not the right one, that means that she's for everybody. She wants to see your girl. Oh, so he's 19 in. Let us hand, Eddie. That's, that's her. So she's openly admitting she's like, yeah, I walked in, I saw who it was, I know who it was, because he's been trying to get me on my CMG and I slapped it into us. She said that? She said that's her. So I don't know if you just want to do like an MTA or a battery or a TNT or a new one. She's still in the system. Did you ever hear Miranda? I did not read her Miranda. That's what happened because we were still figuring it out. So if you want me to, I can do it with Miranda. I'll do that. Okay. What I'm going to need is, uh, can you see if you can find video? I already got his information. Can you see if you can find video of him? I can, but I doubt the way of her today. She, she's probably in there. All right. Just in case that she says no. Before you say anything, let me read you something real quick. Yes. Please let me know. I have an accent. Let me know if you don't understand anything that I'm saying. All right? So you have the right to remain in silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have her him present with you before and during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you are not cast to you before and during question if you wish. We can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any question or make any statements. Do you understand each right as I have explained it to you? Yes, sir. Okay, having these rights in mind, do you want to tell me what happened today? Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, where do you want me to start from, sir? I'm interested mainly in when you hit him in the face. Okay. So. Where's the, where's the real name? I want to. Um, it's, yeah. it's that, Lexi. Is that your real name? Yes, sir. And I really do. do what I don't understand is that when you help somebody accountable, they always start with the word, I apologize, but not good enough. Because no matter what you did wrong, you're going to have to do more than apologize. Because if you mess up once, you're out of here. But even though I'm a bit disappointed that we didn't get to hear her side, it's the why she's, she decided to hit him in the first place. But I think the narrator in this video is going to give us a better information as to what really happened, hopefully. The officer discovered that the woman had provided a fake ID. When confronted about it, she became defensive raising her voice and denying any wrongdoing. She insisted that the ID was genuine and claimed she had no reason to deceive the officer. Her sudden shift in behavior raised further suspicion, prompting the officer to remain calm but firm and continue to question her about the false identification and the reasons behind her act. And that explains it. So either she's like under 18 or underage, or she probably got into a club or something, knowing that she got no business doing what she did. But the fact that you have a fake ID just to start some stuff, yeah, you got yourself into this mess and you're gonna have to get out of it. She's got the best of me over the situation because I, I, I truly was upset about the situation from prior. 
Do you have a million rental? What is uh, your address? Uh, okay, uh, where is that at? Road. Road? Road and then uh, 33980. 33980? 33980. Uh, what is that at? Is that out of. That's uh, in Penagorda. Penagorda? Yeah. I'm really, really sorry about that. Girl, stop apologizing. Like, I, I truly do want to apologize. Uh, uh-huh. Exactly. Exactly. What you think? For a simple body, uh, you should have hit him. Okay. Just put your you should have hit him. For a simple body. Just put your two palms together. Like I I truly do want to apologize. For a simple body, uh, you should have hit him. Okay. Just put your, you should have hit him. For a simple body. Just put your two palms together. I mean, yeah, you got what you deserve. You did it to yourself. He just told you, dummy. For hitting him, okay? For what? You want to press charges for hitting him in the face, slapping him. And what about him pushing me and hitting First of all, that doesn't give you the right to put your hands on anybody. When a person hits you first, they either push back or hit you back. My mama always say, if anybody puts your hands to you, man or woman, male or female, hit him back. And he pushed you back. So it's because you're a female... If anybody saw you or saw him handing you back with his fist, knowing that he is 10 times stronger than you, then he would have been arrested on the spot. But if there's like a regular video evidence of you hitting him first, then yeah, you did deserve to get clapped. I just don't understand in society why is it that a woman can hit a man because she's a female, but if a man decides to hit back, or defend himself, he's a coward. He's called abusive. He's being charged with domestic battery. But if a woman does it, it's justified. But if a man fights back, it's an issue. It's like they want us to just bow down and not do anything and just take the abuse like it's nothing because we're men, we're strong, we're tough. Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? So, yeah, she's going to be charged with domestic battery, assaulting a person, and what else? I don't care. At this point, we're checking cameras. If something changed, you're still going to go in for possession of a fake ID. Uh, and what about him? Did you check him for a fake ID? I'm sure. Because uh, he has a fake ID. He gave me his ID. So and what about all It's a real ID, ID. on like... He gave me his ID. So and what about um, all It's a real ID, ID of his, unlike yours. So you call him a fake because Hey, even her friend has common sense to not get involved in her mess. Like, she's a grown woman. She can figure out how to get herself out of this situation. Even if you admitted accountability, but you're still wrong, 
and you're gonna get arrested regardless. So after the police officer said to her friend what she really did, she backed out and I'm glad she did that because in one of you to grow, you have to take accountability. Come on, man. Crying is not going to beat you out those handcuffs. Girl, grow up. What I cried on camera is not going to get you out of handcuffs, like I said. Due to her use of a fake ID and the escalating situation. As the officer moved to place her under arrest, she began resisting, struggling against the officer's efforts. However, this aggression quickly shifted to desperation as she started crying, pleading with the officer to let her go. Because of the crowd right now, You're not privileged. You lost that privilege a long time ago. So, getting arrested and crying, playing the victim card, and calling him a horrible person, doesn't that picture you as a bad person? Yes. And I can tell she's drunk too. Because when people have alcohol in their system, yeah, I've seen far worse than this. That's not how life works, ma'am. That's not how it works. She could be lying about everything based on what I'm saying. She's just flat out changing her story and accusing everybody of not doing anything, claiming that person that she slapped sexually assaulted her, but in actuality, he did not do that. So now you're just making up stories. No, they didn't. You know what? I go to jail for what I believe in. And yeah, she's drunk. The way she's walking and the way she's talking, throwing her words and everything. She's clearly intoxicated. Turn the lights on. I don't even want to argue with you. You've done nothing wrong. Then you shut your mouth then. That's fine. Turn the lights on, Daniel. Daniel! Do you have my purse? Yes, this way. I have a lot of money in there for the job that I work at every day. Can you, can you fix that seatbelt? Yeah. Use the bag there or whatnot? Do you have anything in your pocket or I don't see you with any pocket or When I'm out of jail, do I get my purse? Yes. The thing that really bothers me about people getting locked up is they're always worrying about their personal belongings. How about you go to jail and take some accountabilities for your own actions and responsibilities for your own wrongdoings, then maybe, just maybe, you'll have your personal belongings with you, whether it's tomorrow or next week, depending on how long they keep you in jail. Imagine if her job sees this video on YouTube. What is the first thing they're going to do? 
fire that person immediately. Because if you know you did wrong by slapping people for no reason, then you deserve no pay or to get fired in the first place because of your actions. So I don't even want to hear her cry and complain about this and that. Because accountability is everyone's kryptonite, whether you're a man or a woman. On both ends, it is a kryptonite to these people. And they don't even care about their actions, their wrongdoings. It's obvious to me that they will never ever learn from their mistakes. In my advice, if you have alcohol in your system, drink responsibly and act your age and act right and get right. Don't act a fool unless you don't want to get the handcuffs on you. She's so privileged. And you out here doing this. You deserve karma. I'm sorry to say this, but you do. I don't want to argue with you. Then stop talking then. You should be arresting the guy with all these girls. You hold your phone. 1051 for the jail room or 1015 is talking about her. Just a heads up, I know you're hot. Um, when I interviewed her, she said she was from Connecticut, so she's got possession of things. Oh, she admitted she admitted that. Wait, no, she works from Connecticut? Okay, she completely told me she's from Connecticut. Liar. This is only charge. Alright, bro. Alright, JJ. Send me a pick of it. Alright. Send you a pick of it. Alright, I'll send you a pick of it. Send me 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 a pick of it. Is there so whether they're gonna see this video or not just know that they're fired they lost their job and if you can't take accountability for your actions then you don't deserve another job in your life I know but uh, there is the only much that I can do about that <laughs> see him using the hand sanitizer it's all heavy you tell he wipe this hands clean with this mess She's not understanding. No, ma'am. When I get to jail, I'm going to get close to the door. Yes. We have to go through the booking process first. It's going to take maybe 40, 40, 45 minutes, all right? Do you hope that some of the stats shall be put back on the screen back then? Yes. It's an ill to have a fake ID. Collect this fake ID and put into property for as evidence. We're going to collect the fake ID that you provided. And we're going to put into property as evidence of a crime. Then tomorrow, I explain everything over there in the jail. We're almost here. Later, the woman was presented in court where she faced multiple charges. Disorderly conduct, simple battery, providing a fake ID, and resisting arrest. The court proceedings addressed each charge, considering the evidence and testimonies provided during the investigation to determine the appropriate legal consequences for her actions. If you would At the end of the day, accountability is kryptonite to these people. Because let's face it, any time where they do wrong, they will always find ways to get away with it so much. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if he would have hit her back in public, everyone would have been on his neck if he did that. But thankfully, he didn't really hit her back. He just pushed her because pushing is better than hitting. So at least he gave the officer details, information, showed his ID and gave them extra details of what she did. And even if her friend was the one that was informed by the police officer, she knew not to get involved because a real friend would never even like get involved in the mess if they know they did wrong. Let them go. Let them 
learn from right from wrong. And if they do, they'll be better. And so shout out to that brother for giving the officers information that they needed to arrest her. Because she's coming up with a bunch of excuses. Because number one, she sounds privileged as I don't know what. Asking for her personal belongings as if they're the most important thing in this world other than, you know, other than accountability. So, I don't know what's going to happen after this. If she gets fired from her job, then it's well deserved. Later to the original video will be down below and I'm going to catch you on my next one.